Hi, and welcome to this week's walk review from Two Way Kids, where each week we upload free printable Bible lessons for you to use with your under five. So, whether it be at home or at church, we want to help you to explore the Bible with your child and for them to have a passion for God's Word. So, if you haven't already done so, can I encourage you to head over to the website at twowaykids.com and there you can download this week's lesson for free. So, this week's um, lesson is called Jesus, Friend of Sinners. And we're focusing on the account where Jesus calls his disciple Matthew, who was a tax collector, to leave it behind and follow him. So, if, once you print off, you'll see again the front cover. You can use this as a guide for your child to picture it. And as you open up a lesson, on the first page is the introduction. That covers some of the main points that we're going to look at, as well as some of the ways which we can help our children to apply this to their lives and games and activities we can do with them. Firstly, we're going to see our readings take from Matthew 9. We're going to see that Matthew left his whole life behind, a life of a tax collector, to follow Jesus. We're going to teach our children that at the time, tax collectors were hated by the people because they often stole from their own people, so they weren't liked people. But we can see that Jesus is full of grace, and even though Matthew had possibly done lots of bad things in his past, Jesus called him to follow him anyway and give him a second chance. And then we can see that Jesus calls all people to repent and follow him. And again, below there's some activities and things we can do to explain um, some of these truths to our children. Well, the next two pages we have a free printable Bible story which you can use um, with your children also. So all you need to do is print on two pages like this or print it front to back, put them together and fold and you have a little book which they could, um, if in church you could take home to use with their parents to review what you're taught them during the session or at home you can use a bedtime story or to add to your collection of the stories we add each week. So you see Matthew's there and Matthew the tax collector's there with the Roman guard at the back and the people paying their taxes and we see Jesus coming calling Matthew to follow him. And Matthew's there, he has a party and he invites his friends to come along and the religious leaders start to complain that Jesus is spending time with sinners. And we see that verse that Jesus said, that this the sick who need a doctor, but we see the religious leaders complaining um, to Jesus and Matthew about that. So this is just a great way to reinforce the lesson, but please read the, the original passage from your child from the Bible um, first. So some games activities we can do this week. The first one is, who would you call? So in the pack you'll see on the next page, are some printable cards. So what you can do with these is to print these out and put them on the table and you would say questions to your child like if there was a fire who would I call? And the child must pick up the, obviously the fireman. You say oh if I need somebody to make me some food who would I call? And the child would pick up the one with the chef and so on. So that's just one activity um, which you can do. The next one is to play doctors. So remind you again that Jesus said he's like that the sick need a doctor so sinners need him and so we can play doctors. There's another worksheet included further on the lesson, we'll show you that later. But you can get some cuddly toys and soft toys with your child and treat them as patients, use everyday objects to um, wrap them up, to bandage them. And just remember that you know you may not have a doctor's kit or something in your house, but your child's imagination is incredible, much better than ours as grown up. So they'll find the things they need to treat their child. And lastly, money exchange. For this you would just get a series of coins, maybe one cent or one penny, then 10 pence, 50 pence, or whatever your currency is. And this first one to get to a pound or a dollar, so you would roll the dice, and if you roll six, you get six pennies. When you get to 10 pennies, you would swap them then for a 10 pence coin, and so on. Depends on the age of your child to see how you do it. You can use real money, you can use plastic money, or you can just write your own um, pieces on a piece of paper, or use tokens, buttons, whatever you have available. So next one is a doctor worksheet. Well, this is this pictures of different things are on the side. It says which things would the doctor need to help sick people get better, and your child must draw circles or draw lines to the doctor showing which things um, the doctor uses. And again, there's a coin worksheet. Remember, in Matthew, was a tax collector, so all we need to do is count how many of each coin there are. So, see the silver coin, the gold coin, the brass coin, and at the bottom, if your child is old, old enough, they can count them all and write the number there of how many they are in total. And this is the one I mentioned for a patient um, checkup sheet. So with this, your child will get a soft toy. First of all, you can write the name of the soft toy there, or you can do it for them, or do um, with a faint pencil, and you can draw over to practice writing the letters. Then you could use a tape measure to measure how tall they are. Then if you've got a small kitchen scales or something, you could use that to weigh how heavy they are. Then you use this chart, so you look at their mouth and score it from red and unhappy to green, very happy. And for each mark, you can say how well the child the, sorry, the soft toy is doing and pretend to be a doctor as they do now. As you do it, talk about your child, how we need to 
um, be concerned also about not only our physical health but our spiritual um, health. So this is craft is a very easy one. Here this is a sandal. It says Jesus said, follow me, Matthew 9 9. That's when he calls Matthew from his um, tax table to follow him. So on the next page you see the free template you need to recommend you print this on the thick card as the results will be better. There's also a craft video somewhere on this page or go to truewickers.com and look at Jesus Friend of Sins lesson and there will be a craft video there that walks you through step by step how to make it. But here's our final result. So you see there's a template, you just colour it in, make three holes and put some ribbon through to make it look like a sandal and there you have the memory verse again to help your child to remember scripture. This is, isn't good just for now but this will set them up and for their life. So on to this week's current pages we have here um, the first one with Martha there collecting the money uh, from the people at his table. We have Jesus calling Martha to come and follow him. We see the religious leaders unhappy that Jesus is spending time with sinners. And we see um, Jesus with Matthew, with Matthew's friends in the background as he's holding the party for them. And then finally on the last page, as always, we have um, some worship songs you should sing together. They're all linked over to YouTube. You can click on the links on the website too. And do them for your own use at home if you're using it in a church and encourage you to either to play the songs or to check what your church license allows you to play. Um, here in the prayer time, just thanking God he forgives us and he calls us despite our past and despite not being perfect. And to ask him to help us to tell our friends about Jesus, just like Matthew wanted to tell his friends. In the preview next week, we're going to look at Jesus choosing his disciples. So, so far, we've seen Jesus calling his first disciples, the fishermen. Matthew and next week we're going to pick up the story as he continues to call the 12. So pray you have a wonderful week as you study God's word. If your child or your children, we're praying for you. We thank you for your encouragement, for your prayers, your support. And we'll see you next week as we do another lesson together. God bless you.